And the pituitary actually extends out of the brain. And the neurons in the paraventricular nucleus release a hormone called corticotropin-releasing hormone, or CRH. Corticotropin-releasing hormone acts on neurons in the anterior pituitary, in that front piece of garlic, and causes the cells there to release a hormone called ACTH, adrenocorticotropin hormone. Okay? I know there's not a lot of nomenclature here, but you should know the facts. ACTH is then released into the bloodstream, and it travels down to the adrenals, and it stimulates the release of cortisol. In fact, by binding to something called the melanocortin receptor, which doesn't seem important for the moment, but later when I tell you why people who have chronically elevated cortisol get a, what's called hyperpigmentation, they get some pigmentation on their face that's kind of blotchy, right? This is a symptom of something called Cushing syndrome, which is elevated cortisol. It will make sense, melanocortin, okay? It's involved in pigmentation. The melanocortin receptor sits in that middle layer of the adrenal, and ACTH binds to it, causing the synthesis and release of cortisol. Okay, then cortisol in response to stress, yes, but also in response to any time we need to get our energy going, our brain energy, our focus.